Hello my lovely Geminis, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. So this is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then leave it where it is. This is a general love reading for you today, Gemini. We're going to see what messages the angels have first. So Angel Spirit guys, what's the love message for our lovely Geminis this week please? What's the love message for our lovely Geminis this week? What do they need to know about their love life? Show me what I need to know, please. Okay. Wow. Okay, you've got the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to? This is like the tarot card in, in tarot. Uh, the tower card in tarot. <laughs> there you go. Um, you sometimes you just gotta let things fall apart for it be able to to rebuild. I feel with the crumbling card, the energy I'm getting is that you are holding on to things. Maybe you're holding on to the relationship. Maybe you're holding on to hope that this person will change their mind. Maybe this person that you're with has said, "I need a little bit of a break. I need to think about what I want. I need to heal. I need to do all this. I need to do all that. I can't be with you while I'm doing all of this." And then, and you're 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 kind of sat there waiting for them to make a decision you're sat there waiting for them and you're holding on to hope you're holding on to like you know, they're going to change their mind they're going to choose me or they're going to see the reality of it they're going to see the light of it you're holding on to it and i feel that it's time to let it go and if it all falls apart it all falls apart but there's a great thing about it that when things fall apart you can rebuild it in the way that you want to build it and this will mean rebuilding you so there may be things going on in the relationship right now. There might be in a separation. Um, this could also mean for some of you that you are clinging on to something that is stopping you from falling in love. You're clinging on to limiting beliefs that is actually stopping you from moving forward. And it's about you kind of releasing all those limiting beliefs, having that big cry, that big healing moment that you need to have to start your healing journey so that you can heal and you can be the person that you would like to be to be able to have the love that you really want you've also got on the bottom of the deck is no wait postpone pause say no so someone might ask you to do something that you don't really want to do someone be someone could be asking you out on the date and you don't want to go out with them but maybe you're feeling a bit lonely right now and you feel a bit rejected so you think oh i might as well go out with them then the universe is saying no don't do that let the crumbling happen and heal from a past, from a breakup. Because I feel for some of you, you're in a separation with someone and you're waiting. You're waiting for them to make a decision about you. That's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for someone to make a decision about you. Why are you waiting? By waiting, you're showing them your worth. You're showing them your what your worth what you're worth by going. Do you know what? If you've got to make your own, if you've got to think about me, if you've got to think whether or not that I'm someone that you want to be with, I'm walking away. I'm just gonna walk away because when when somebody really wants to be with you, they will be with you no matter what. They will not play the games. I feel that someone's playing games with you, Gemini. They will not play the games. When someone really wants to be with you, there is no game playing. Nothing at all. Because they want to be with you. And they will do, they will move mountains to be with you. So if this person is making you wait, walk away. If this person walks away from you, walk in the other direction. Keep walking your path. This person's not supposed to be in it. It's not good for your health, I don't feel, Gemini. I feel they're really messing with your health right now. Your mental health. Let's get into tarot. See what they have to say. Nine of Swords, yep. Yep. Knight of Swords. The Death card, yep. I don't read reversals just to let you know why I switched. The Page of Wands. The Four of Cups. The World card. And the King of Cups, wow. And the Ace of Swords. 
on the bottom of the deck. So the Ace of Swords here is saying that you are going to have, um, oh, okay, you're going to have communication, but you're going to have it with somebody new. This isn't the communication that you want with the person that's just messing with your med messing with your mind right now. This is communication with somebody new. Ace of Swords is new beginnings. You are going to have a new beginning. The Ace of Swords is also about having mental clarity. So the person that is making you wait on an answer right now is actually making you really stressed out. Okay, it's not good. It's not they're not giving you mental clar clarity. They're giving you mental mess. That's what this person's doing to you right now, Gemini. They're giving you mental mess, not mental clarity. But the Ace of Swords is saying that you're going to have communication from someone that's going to give you a lot more mental clarity in a relationship. And this is someone new. I, I don't feel this is the person that you're waiting on. This is somebody new that's going to be able to, to have that mental clarity. If you're in a relationship and they're making you have mental mess, it's not worth it. No relationship should give you mental mess. In a way that you feel like you don't know if you're coming or going and you're super stressed. They're making... They're playing mind games with you, mind tricks on you. They're just completely messing you up. If someone is doing that to your mind, then they're not worth it. But I feel that, that you have got somebody new coming in that's going to give you more mental clarity and mental peace. So in the recent past, you have got the Nine of Swords, which I said before. This person's giving you a lot of anxiety and stress and sleepless nights. You don't understand why they're doing the things that they're doing. You might be thinking, if I could just talk to them, I can make them see. Why would you want to do that? Because you are better than that. You are worth more than that. In the recent past, a relationship, it could be even ongoing now, has given you this mental mess. And you just don't know what to do. You're feeling like it's your fault. You're replaying things over and over and over again. And you're trying to hold on to that hope. You're trying to hold on that things are going to work out. And I really feel that you just need to let it crumble. You just need to let it crumble. I know it's going to be painful, but you just need to let it fall apart. Because then you'll come out of... You might have to stay in this mindset for a little bit longer just to heal that, that initial wound. But you you don't want to live your life, the rest of your life, with this mental mess that, you're, that this person is causing you. In the present moment, you've got the Knight of Swords... Uh, this is someone that takes action. Um, I feel that your person that you are waiting on will just ghost you for a while. And just when you're at that point where you just feel like I'm just, I'm moving forward, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm getting better. They message you and start and run towards you really fast and make you feel that everything's amazing again. And then leave you in the same position. The Knight of Swords is about you taking action. It's about you being in, impulsive. It's about... Um, it's quite an energetic card I feel that this is a new energy coming in I feel that if you let this crumble if you let this relationship fall apart and you start rebuilding things you're going to have somebody coming in you've got the ace of swords that's there as well on the bottom of the deck which is a new communication and, and um, mental clarity and I do feel the energy of somebody new is coming in towards you. And the Knight of Swords is somebody moving fast, taking action towards you. I mean, they're not walking towards you there. They're running towards you. I feel like this person is someone you may know um, in the present moment. Like right now, you know them, but you don't look at them that way. You've never thought that there was anything between the two of you. You're just kind of either acquaintances or friends. Or you just, I feel like you just know of each other, but they've always had their eye on you. And then they find out you're single and they start running. Like, she's single, let's go. So what you're not seeing here, the hidden influence, Gemini, and this is going very well with the crumbling card right now, is the death card. So again, this has to crumble. This has to fall apart. You're shedding You're shedding old shit. You're, shed, you're shedding what no longer needs to, that serves you. You're kind of like, these, this person that's causing you this pain this mental mess this isn't the first time this is a continual cycle and I feel that you're going to come to a point where you're going to go I need to get rid of this this needs to go and you'll start moving forward and you'll start taking action towards your own life with the knight of swords there you will start taking action towards your own life and you'll start rebuilding but I feel to be able to rebuild your life you need to let this crumble you need to let this fall apart completely so that you can rebuild so the death card is more of a rebirth card you're starting to learn the lesson from this relationship from this toxic 
uh, mental madness mess that you've been going through and starting to come out of the you you will come out of the other side this is just um the old you dying basically the old version of you the repetitive cycle of pain it's coming to an end and you're going to be able to start rebuilding your life and, and stepping into the person that you um, need to be for the next chapter of your life but you need to let it fall apart you can't keep holding on to something because you're holding on to something that's not going to happen you're holding on to something that's not there so you need to let it fall apart the obstacle you have is that you know there is more out there for you and you know that you need to start looking in a new direction you know you need to start taking steps forward but you're finding that really hard because you you kind of in you don't really know what happened with this person it just kind of went it just happened and it was amazing and it was just gone and you feel a bit lost and confused and you're, the obstacle that you have is that you need to move forward and you know you need to move forward you need to know what else is out there you need to start um manifesting new things into your life but you're really struggling to do that because this person is not really um, saying anything to you they keep putting you on the hook the thing is you have the power to take yourself off the hook if you just let it all fall apart so however is perceive you um is the four of cups so they can see that what you're not seeing so you're looking down here at the three of cups so you might have certain things in your life which is all full and happy and you're quite content with certain things in your life so like your home life your your career all those kind of things you're quite happy and content now everybody else can see this fourth cup that's being offered to you but you're in such um solitude you're in a bit of pain at the moment you're not focusing correctly um you're not really paying attention to the outside world that you're not seeing what is being offered to you you're not seeing the offering you're not seeing that this breakdown is actually a blessing in disguise because you're just focusing on not understanding what went wrong i feel that you need to look up and see what is actually being offered right now because other people can see that you have more to offer um what you have to offer, this person has took advantage of and literally destroyed it. You have so much to offer that you need to keep putting yourself out there and you need to see what is being offered to you. Like, look at it properly, look at it correctly, what is being offered? What is actually being offered to me? Can you live up to the expectations that I expect from my relationship? If you can't give me what I expect and how I expect to be treated, then you need to walk away. But because you're such a caring and loving and generous person, you don't see what is actually being offered to you. You're just seeing um, what you've got and what is missing rather than what's being offered. You'll see it, you, all you can see, all you're focusing on is what is missing rather than what is being offered to you. The best path for you to take right now is the world card, okay? So a completion, fulfillment, joy. This is coming towards you. You need to choose this. So right now you're in this place where this person's giving you the mental madness. Now you can make that choice to walk away from this and walk into fulfillment and joy because I feel there is somebody waiting in the wings for you. They know that you're single and they've kind of come running towards you, but they don't feel like they can take any action towards you because you're stuck in this place. So now you have to make this choice of staying in this place and waiting for this person who is making you wait. I mean, who who the hell do they think they are making you wait? I mean, come on. Who the hell do they think they are? No one should ever make you wait. Ever. Or you can choose to walk away from it yourself and think, I choose love, I choose happiness, I choose joy and fulfillment. I might not have it right at now in my fingertips, but that's what I choose. I don't choose this. You need to walk the path of love, joy and fulfillment, of com feeling completed. Because as I said, there is someone in the wings wanting to give you that feeling of completion. But you're too focused on being made to wait by this idiot. The... the 
final outcome for you, Gemini, is the King of Cups. This is someone that is coming in. I told you, someone is coming into you, towards you. They are very head over heart. They they know what they want. They can see it. They're very compassionate as well. So this person knows that you're single. They've come running towards you. They're really compassionate, so they're not going to make their move straight away, but they are going to be hanging around, and they're going to be talking to you, um, and they're going to be connecting with you in some way. With the Ace of Swords, they're going to be communicating with you. They do rule their head over their heart, not their heart over their head. They see things very clearly and they're going to help you see things very clearly, but you're still going to keep that loving nature that you have. But I feel with the King of Cups, they want to be in your life and they will pretty much do anything they need to do to be in it, even if for now it's just as a friend. But this King of Cups, who's very emotionally balanced, who doesn't need to do healing work, who doesn't need to do anything like that, knows that they want to be with you and will be with you there's no messing around with them nothing at all there's no oh i'm not sure oh i don't know there's no messing around they don't want to be with you they're tired they want to be with you they will be with you and this is someone that is waiting for you in the wings but you're holding on to this person who is making you wait who is getting a kick out of seeing you in pain now this king of cups doesn't want to see you in pain they get a kick out of you being happy. And that's the kind of person that you want in your life. And they're there, Gemini. They are there. But you need to let go. Oh, my God. Oh, you need to let go. You need to let go of this idiot that's keeping you waiting. Okay. Can I have one more card, please? These are the Love Oracle cards. We're just trying to pull one more card out of here, but the cards you've had just sums up this reading. Oh, there's one that's flipped, so I will take that. Okay. Right, so the first card that we have, Gemini, is Secret of Myra. What did I say? It's Secret of Myra. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. And I'm going to put that right above the Knight of Swords. I told you, somebody is somebody knows that you are single and has come running towards you. They've got, they're going to get in touch with you. They're going to make a move, not in a, a loving way, not like a, I'm going to jump on this straight away type of thing. I was going to like... Maybe see you in passing. Maybe it's someone at work. Maybe it's someone you already know. Um, maybe someone's going to connect on Facebook with you, but they're not going to rush into it. But you have got a secret admirer. That person is waiting for you in the wings. Just let this idiot go first. <laughs> You've also got twin flame. Your passion ignites. Yes, this person is going to, um, it's going to be a lot of passion there. They're going to make you see things that you've not seen before. They're going to make you feel things that you've not felt before. It's going to be a whole new, a whole new romance that you've never experienced before. And then you've got wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yes, do not rush into this. You are still healing and getting over another person right now. So even though this person might come in, don't rush it, okay? The last thing you want to do right now is rush it because it will feel like a transfer of feelings. You're transferring your feelings from this one person onto another. Just maybe just build this relationship slowly. Maybe just get to know them, laugh with them, go, go out with them as friends and stuff like that and see if anything naturally grows from it. You need to let nature take its course because if you do that, it'll be a long lasting relationship rather than just something like a rebound. You don't want... You do not want this person, this particular person, to be a rebound. You don't want that. Because this person is no rebound. This person is it. This person is it. Don't let them be a rebound. On the bottom of the deck, you've got balance. Love is not always about agreeing for this for this just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So is this person that you are waiting on? that is making you wait, is this a supportive relationship both ways? Is this something that will challenge you mentally in a good way? Or is it something that's challenging you mentally in a heartbreaking, painful way? If it, It's a heartbreaking, painful way. The cards are saying it. So that's not good. But this person that's coming in, this Knight of Swords, this King of Cups, this person that is coming in, and you've got the Page of Wands, this person might be a little bit childlike. Like might be younger than you or just might have that childish energy, a really fun, upbeat energy. 
that person is going to support and challenge you in ways that you never knew were possible. Oh, if I could shake you, I would. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to get some answers from the Angel Answer Oracle card deck. So ask the angels questions that you'd like to know the answers to. Um, and we'll pull some cards to see what they say. In the meantime, if you would like a personal reading specifically just for you, then do go and check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. I now offer personal readings um, for you. I would love to do a reading for you, so please do check it out. If you want to know where I get any of my decks from, please do go and check out the links in the description box below. And don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and the notification bell uh, to be notified every single time I upload a video. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to our lovely Gemini's question, please? Thank you. What's the answer to our lovely Gemini's questions, please? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Any answers for me? Is there a couple more? Okay, thank you. Okay, and thank you. So the first card that we got out here, Gemini, was tr um, improving health. Yes, I feel that's a massive thing for you right now. I think you just need to improve your emotional and mental health because you're going through it right now with this idiot that's making you wait. It's getting even me angry. I'm even angry. I feel that you've got someone in spirit who's probably pissed off because this person is making you wait because you don't deserve that. Because if you've got someone in spirit, what would they tell you to do? If you've got, I feel like I've got a grandma energy. So if you've got a grandma here, um, in, grandma in spirit, sorry, um, what would they tell you to do if you went to them with this problem? I know what mine would tell me to do. And you know what yours would tell you to do. So you need to improve your uh, mental and emotional health right now to be able to um, open the door for this new person to come in. You've also got forgiveness. You need to forgive this person for making you wait. Not because you think... If you forgive them, then everything's going to be okay. I think you need to forgive them so that you can say, do you know, thank you. I forgive you for what you've done and I appreciate what you've done because you taught me a very big lesson of my worth. You taught me how much I valued myself and how much I thought of my worth and then that gave me the opportunity to change it. Because right now, the way that you are with this like confusing and stressful moment, that's what you think of yourself. That's what you think of your value and your worth. And now it's time to change that. It is really time to change that. So forgive them and thank them for opening your mind up to that. So you are able to change that particular aspect of your life. You then got you're ready. You're ready to move away from this situation, this cycle and move into something new with the death card there. You are ready for a new beginning. You're ready for this new person to come in, but you just need to improve your have and forgive and then you're going to be ready for this new person to come into your life. And then you've got trust. Trust yourself, trust your intuition and trust the universe. Everything is perfect timing. You need to learn the lessons that you need to learn so that you can move forward with your life and have a very fruitful and um loving and happy life but until you learn those lessons they will continue to come up until you do that's all i've got for you to say my lovely gemini thank you for spending that time i really do appreciate it anything resonated with you then please do drop in a comment box below i read and respond to all my comments so i love to connect with you all um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It will send this out to more people on YouTube as well as grow my channel, which I really appreciate. But more importantly, I really want to reach someone that needs to see this reading today. I think it's an important reading. I feel that I really want to reach someone that needs, that needs to see it. So any support that you can send for that particular person that needs to see it, whether it's you or someone else, I would much appreciate it. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.